Hey folks, uh, Ray Solt here with another episode of Power Hour. We're sitting down with uh, Scott Crutchell, Regional Manager for uh, Royal Purple. Thanks for coming today, Scott. My pleasure. Um, so the way we run this, uh, Scott, is that uh, we sent out a bunch of different questionnaires. We posted it on our Facebook, we posted on Twitter, and we asked our customers if they had any questions for you. Okay. So uh, first, before we get started, uh, tell me a little bit about you know Royal Purple, maybe some things we missed in 2014, some new and exciting stuff in 2015. Sounds Royal Purple has been around since 1986. It was invented by a gentleman named John Williams out of uh, Houston, Texas. Uh, he was an industrial uh, chemist, if you will, for an oil company. Retired and started uh, a company as a consultant and then uh, started Royal Purple not long after becoming a consultant because he introduced and invented a product called Centerlink. So Centerlink is the backbone of Royal Purple. It's the market. cornerstone of our company. That's what makes us different from everyone else. No one else can have it. It's a registered trademark of our company. You mentioned that uh, that the owner of Royal Purple, it's, it's sort of the American success story almost, right? Absolutely, yeah. He invented our product uh, strictly on an industrial side, mm -hmm. which today is still a very active and good product on the industrial for industrial companies. Mm -hmm. And then started an automotive side somewhat by accident mm -hmm. uh, while working as a consultant some of these manufacturing plants introducing the Centerlink product to uh, help alleviate problems. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the gentlemen that were working there were also weekend drag racers and oh, cool. asked him if they could make some of the product to work in motors. Mm -hmm. Of course it could. And so these weekend racers started competing against each other. One thing led to another. And so uh, other guys got interested in it out of Texas and then it started to grow and then it, uh, as his small company began to grow bigger and bigger and bigger, mm -hmm. uh, he started an automotive side. Of course, it was all about racing, and racing is the backbone of our company. Um, that's why part of our logo has a, uh, a racing flag. If you will. And the, the marketing that we do, uh, whether it's in movies, whether it's in NHRA, or whether it's in trade magazines, or whatever, uh, stands out uh, yeah, to the other it's people. It's always interesting to watch a movie and uh, see you guys in Hollywood. Yeah. You guys do a lot of the uh, behind-the-scenes advertising. Subliminal messaging. Yeah, it's pretty exciting, actually. It is. It's very good. It's almost where, it, you know, you got to pause it to, to see. Uh, well, we have a great uh, ex-CEO of our company that joined a team out in, in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And uh, anything that pours from a motor oil or in a scene, we are the ones that we've got a contract so we can do that. Oh, well, cool. Yeah, and uh, so whether whatever movie it is, if somebody's doing a gun battle, there's an 18 wheeler behind that gun battle. This is Royal Purple. Or a big old Royal Purple on it. It doesn't exist, but however, <laughs> we do. Uh, for people that may not be completely familiar with Royal Purple, what are some of the really pinnacle products that came out in 2014? That Max Clean, our fuel injection cleaner. Uh, Max Tain, our diesel C Tain boost, and also Max Boost, our octane boost. Uh, boost 30 points, three numbers, uh, which is huge in the industry. No matter what your octane rating is, whether it's racing fuel or everyday fuel, we'll raise it 30 points or three numbers. We stated it on our can. Yeah. So you not only put it on there, you got the marketing aspect of it as well, but it's a true product. It, it yeah. actually does what it says it does. Those are three things that we, uh, we introduced last year at SEMA, uh, and they've done quite well. Uh, they're a different size container. Go on to royalpurple.com, look at our website, see those kind of things as well. So, so Royal Purple sponsors a uh, tremendous amount of race teams. Yes, do. Um, can you sort of get into why, uh, why you feel um, that's necessary in the industry? Uh, who you guys are, are, are vested in? What sort of racing program? Maybe uh, we, we here at Mueller Motorworks really like Sarah Burgess, the Bubba Burger car. Um, She's uh, she's fun to watch and she's a pretty lady, so uh, ex she's exciting. But uh, some, who are some of the uh, the real key players or key teams that we should be watching for in 2015? Um, can't announce that yet. Okay, those things are coming uh, soon. All right, uh, we do that. Just if I can regress just for a moment, we do our announcements on our race teams typically the first part of the year, 
Uh, we go from year to year. Last year we had, or this current year, we had 119 race teams. Some will step in, some will step out. So we take applications in and around September, October time frame, mm -hmm. and then we decide on what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. um, the GRC is the largest Very exciting we, class. Yes. Right. We have a lot of fun with those guys. Our right. team drivers do an awesome job for us. I'm very happy to have Steve Aspen as a, as a leading driver for us. Yeah, very, very, very great, good driver. Yeah, yeah. nice young man, mm -hmm. great talent. We look forward to seeing him going in, uh, in bigger things as, as, as it comes along. So you don't make uh, specific formulas for these race teams. Whatever the race team's running, a consumer can come to, say, here Mueller Motor Works, or they can come go to Walmart or any any uh, approved uh, seller of your product, and uh, they can pick up the same formula, right. same product, same product. That, that these big things are, are running. Again, we're race-proven product, yeah. so whether you're in your mom's minivan, yep. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, or you have an exotic race vehicle, um, that right. same oil can be used. We, like I said, we sent out a, a, a bunch of flyers, social media, Twitter, and we Excuse me, and we've got a bunch of different uh, questions for people all over the country uh, that want to know a little bit more about the product. Maybe they use the product or they want to switch over to it. So, right. yeah, so here Love we that. go. We have uh, Bob. Bob from Wisconsin actually writes, um, I use Moltool and would like to use Royal Purple, but your oil is not OE specific. Do you have plans in the future to come out with an OE specific oil? No. That's, that's the short <laughs> no. answer. No, right? Uh, we we are an aftermarket oil company first and foremost. Uh, we do meet OE specs. We are API licensed. We are ISLAC uh, G5, so we do do that on an everyday basis with our API product. But um, we're not looking to get in with an OE at this point. Yeah, and I think the reason why a lot of customers ask this, and I think it might be a misnomer in the industry that uh, a person that would run, whether it be Royal Purple or a competitor's brand, uh, if they run that in their car and it's under warranty, when they bring it into the dealership or they bring it into the shop, if they have an issue, uh, they're not necessarily going to get the warranty coverage that they, they necessarily would have if they had used an oil that was spec by the manufacturer. Well, so, spec is a word that is a moving target. Our API licensed product, our SAE oils, mm -hmm. meet and, and exceed most anyone's spec. Mm -hmm. So whether if, as long, if that car is under warranty, they can use our product with no uh, concerns with any uh, Ford, GM, Subaru, Mazda, any of, any of that. So right. we meet that requirement. Mm -hmm. But what would you say to somebody that said it's under warranty and said, hey, you know, Subaru specs or whoever vehicle specs a 5W30, um, and they want to step outside of that viscosity. As long as it's under warranty, use what they recommend in the book. It says 530, use 530. It says 520, 020, whatever the case may be, use what's in the book. After your warranty, you can then choose to do whatever you want. Uh, Bob is basically, and his oil's always specific, We could he could then run a a royal purple product, Absolutely. as long as it was the same viscosity, Absolutely. and not really worry about any sort of warranty issues. Exactly. We're off to the next question here. Chris from California writes, why is royal purple purple? <laughs> <laughs> royal purple is purple for a couple of different reasons. One, it, it's marketing. Um, we want to be different than the other ones. Um, red and green were already taken, so I was told back in the 80s by other manufacturers. Uh, we use the purple, it's strictly a dye. We mm -hmm. use a purple dye in, in all of, anything that pours from from Royal Purple, whether it's our fuel products or if it's an oil, gear oil, tranny fluid, whatever the case may be, if it pours, it'll pour purple. Mm -hmm. And it's strictly a dye. And it will burn off within about two minutes uh, once that engine temperature, uh, or it may stay purple in the rear end of a, of an assembly a little longer, but it, it will go away by heat. So the dye actually comes out of the, the Royal Purple? It'll burn through the exhaust. You'll never see it or smell it. So Neil from Pennsylvania writes, why should I switch to Royal Purple Purple over the already high additive package oil that I currently run? And he writes that he runs Rotel. Okay. Well, 
I, I don't know which Rotella he's using. Okay. Yeah, um, it doesn't say that. And uh, the biggest reason we should use our product is Centerlick because of the iconic bond that we do within the system. Whether and typically we're going to talk about motor oil, mm -hmm. um, and also the fact that we infuse two of our products with zinc phosphates, which starts that great coating action with inside the cylinder. So not only do you have that iconic bond with Centerlink, but you also have that good coating um, that will actually free, not parts if you will, but uh, lack of friction mm -hmm. to help with. But the biggest thing that we're going to do is raise your performance, horsepower, torque. That's what everybody's looking for when they're using our motor oil, uh, along with fuel economy. Because again, those, those parts are working freely, uh, we're getting more horsepower. <clears throat> Moving on, uh, so Tom, Florida, he writes, what oil do you recommend for track days? XPR is the top of the heap. That's the best product money can buy that we make. Mm -hmm. uh, it uh, has all the ingredients that we make plus some. Uh, XPR can be used on an everyday street car and also a racing application. But to specifically answer his question, I would say uh, if it's a... P6 four cylinder type of atmosphere that you work within. Mm -hmm. I would say somewhere probably R530 XPR. Mm -hmm. um, but also, we could also take his recommendations and we could call our tech service, our tech guys down in uh, Houston, Texas, answer phone calls like that all day long. They take the parameters of what you're doing and the, the uh, circumstances and what our oils would work. Right, you, make, you, you bring up a valid point there with Houston, Texas. So, uh, Wild Purple, completely made uh, here in the U.S. All our products are American-made. Everything we do is American-made. All the four guys that sit in Houston, Texas, they speak Texan, but they speak are American. Texan. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and, and not all our competitors can say that. We're, we're an American-based company. We like telling people about uh, the fact that our bottles are American. Um, everything we do is an American made. We're very proud of that. Definitely. So I, I could call up Royal Purple today. Absolutely. And absolutely. I can, absolutely. Yeah. You could give us uh, the parameters of what you're running, what you're doing, engine size, so on and so forth, and we'll come up with a good recommendation for you. Um, and, and, and you may want to try it at a you know, 530, go to a 1030. just depends on the conditioning uh, right. uh, of, your, of your situation. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yes, we can assist you with that. Absolutely. And I would point out that it's not just for shops here at Mueller Motorworks. That's for everybody. Yeah, that's anybody, anybody. Can, anything that we print, uh, right, uh, on the back of anything that we have, it's a printed material, has our tech line on it. We encourage people to call our tech line. We want to hear from our customer um, and from our future customers. Absolutely. So, Tom, you should call, uh, you should call Royal Purple here. Yeah. And some specs. Yeah. You know, you mentioned XP, the XPR and the HPS, the difference. I mean, for the track days, XPR is your racing line of, yes. of the oils. Is it something where Tom could put it in his car before a race event and then, you know, drive home as well? Is it a sure. great street oil as well? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it, it would be more expensive just for the street, if you will, right? Uh, from a retail standpoint. But you can use it year-round um, on your vehicle, on your race day. Uh, drain it, you know, change it out, whatever you want to do. Uh, it just depends on that racing condition, how, how much you extreme racing. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what the XPR stands for. But yes, you could use it on an everyday basis. He's beating the heck out of his car at the racetrack. Yeah. How often uh, How often should he change oil? Should he change oil when he gets home? Or uh, We recommend at least once a year if it's a racing application, guys racing putting it away, you know, and then racing just a couple of times, mm -hmm. we recommend at least once a year that, that oil will be changed. Okay. For oxidation reasons. But the other thing that you can do is you can go to your local uh, parts store and get, they all have them, a sample bottle that you can purchase. Um, they can even get them from you if you want to uh, supply it to them. Mm -hmm. And they send that a sample of their oil to an independent test lab. Mm -hmm. and it's a bottle within a bottle, and there's a wrap inside there that you Put on there your application, make model year, all that kind of stuff, and your type of oil, 10W30, 5W30. You send that off. Uh, you can mail it. The the man, man will take it. 
I think it's about six dollars and fifty cents to send it in, and that lab will send you a, uh, a an email of what how much copper's in your oil, uh, how much uh, metals in it, and how much further you could have gone or you've used up all the ad pack. So they'll give you an, a parameter, and I would recommend that to just about anybody mm -hmm. uh, to do that so that you're you're. You've got that good coverage inside that building, and when and you're talking even even somebody that's just driving on the street could oh, actually absolutely. send that in. And, oh, sure, yeah. you could go to any parts store if they don't have one. I know that uh, CarQuest has them available. I know that Napa Auto Parts has those those available. Again, they could get them from you, or you get them from us. Oil, as everyone knows, oil is inexpensive compared to a boat. Absolutely. So right. I would always recommend those bracers to test their oil. Or even the everyday guy that wants to see how far, how much further he could have gone in his BMW or uh, a Ford Focus, there. Ford Focus application. Yeah, absolutely. I recommend that highly. Mm -hmm. Really good. Cool. Uh, everybody knows about that. Okay. But you guys also make a great oil filter. We do. Um, our oil filter is uh, one of the leading oil filters out there as far as being more performance driven. It has a 650. ESI burst rate, which is largest in the industry. It's 100% synthetic media within the, the, uh, the container in itself, and then all rubber components are all silicone. So there is no deterioration. Uh, it's under extreme pressure, mm -hmm. holds it. And then the canister that is that holds everything together is 40% stronger than anybody else's filter. And it is American made. Very robust. Yes. What is it? What do, you, what do you mean by the synthetic media? The synthetic media, well, we introduced that because of the micron rating. We have a 25 micron rating at 100% and then a 10% at 80. So we, we're still capturing all the particles within that motor oil. So that motor oil carries that product through the entire engine and it has to go through that filter and back into the system. Well, thank you, Scott, for coming. I appreciate your time answering some of our questions. Great. Glad to be here. Do you, uh, where can folks uh, get to know a little bit about more about Royal Purple? And RoyalPurple.com. Uh, we have a consumer, an industrial, and a commercial end of it. Automotive is where our racing product is, along with our everyday oils, our SAE product, our HPS, and our XPR. You can also see the history about our company. Um, all new products will be announced on there. We have, like I said, 119 racers, so there's all sorts of backstories about those guys. And uh, they can read about Sarah, they can see uh, the schedule for the GRC uh, for next year. Uh, is due to be out soon. Don't hold me to that. But uh, we're very excited to be a part of that program and look forward to uh, more and more of that. And every one of those cars have our Royal Purple logo across the windshield. And, uh, we're just uh, very happy to be part of that program. And our driver won the uh, the uh, race in Vegas. That's right. This past SEMA a couple, uh, couple of weeks ago. That's right. So it was, it was very exciting. It was exciting. Well, thanks, folks, for watching another episode of uh, Power Hour. My name's Ray with uh, Newland Motors. Certainly, for more information on the product or to talk to one of our product specialists, you can visit our website or call the 1-800 number. Thanks, Scott. Thank you, Ray.